welcome to today's video if you haven't not yet done so hit the subscribe button so you never miss another tutorial let's get started let's download mysql workbench and for that i'm gonna google mysql workbench and i'm gonna go with this second result and it will get me straight to downloading page and select the operating system that you're working on i'm on a microsoft windows and i'm gonna select the second windows msi installer which is the community version not the web version i'm gonna hit download and no thanks just start my download and this will start my download after downloading you can click on the installer so it will start the installation process so this will take some time okay uh, so it has identified my connector or dbc and it doesn't matter you can just uh, click on next oh, i'm gonna click on add i'm gonna add uh, my sql install to my computer so i'm so you have to accept the license terms and next I'm gonna add my SQL server to the right using this arrow. Next, I'm gonna add my SQL workbench as well. And in connectors, I'm gonna add my SQL connector J. And I already have this one, and you might need to add this as well. And that's all from this section. So I'm gonna install MySQL server, MySQL workbench and connector J and you should have MySQL or DBC as well. Click on next and it says the path is already there. It doesn't matter, override it. Yes, and these things are ready to install. Sometimes you would get a message saying that you might need to install uh, some Microsoft C++ redistributions. If so, you can uh, click on execute button in that window it will, re will install all the required prerequisites for your application installation and if not if it doesn't allow you that you can always go to google and search for microsoft c++ redistribution and there you can click on the microsoft com download page and there and download redistributable version that you need and double click and install in your computer but from that you can click on execute and start installing microsoft sql server workbench and the required connectors and this will take some time i'm gonna pause this video and i'll come back later okay installation is complete click on next and uh, it says micro server is ready to configure okay and i'm gonna go with standard mysql server then it is asking for the port here this uh, 3306 is the default port so if there is a yellow triangle right here saying that you already have 3306 port taken you can just change the port as you wish so it might be 3307 or something like that so i'll keep it as it is as of the default well next and it says password encryption for authentication and also yeah i'm gonna go with that and a simple password so i can remember okay uh, the service name so all the time when the when you are starting your computer this mysql server will get started as a service in your windows computer so this is the name it is going to be displayed i'll show you later also you can choose whether to start the server at the system startup most of the time just keep it uh ticked because uh, you might use mysql all the time click on next and execute so this will start the server and do the starting work and also it will create the shortcuts that you need if you get stuck in this like uh, if it says uh, line security settings or if anything goes wrong just click on execute again and it will be solved so click on finish and configuration is complete start mysql workbench after setup yes finish. okay close the server okay we have mysql workbench installed 
and I'm gonna create a connection create click on plus button connection name let's say localhost keep the localhost uh, IP and port username as root give your password which is root and click on test connection connection is successful click ok click on the created connection and it will take you to the starting page